Hey, I'm a mechanical engineer, and this is my catapult. Exciting news. Starting this week, I'm going to start uploading twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. So welcome to the first ever Tuesday upload. As you just saw in today's video, we'll be building our own mini catapult. So let's just jump into it. First, we're going to need to take an oak board and we're going to need to cut into strips that are three quarter inches square. We can then cut out four 10 inch long pieces, space them three quarters inch apart, then glue and nail blocks from the top and bottom to hold them in place. Next, I'm going to take these two three inch long pieces of scrap wood that I cut angles into. I cut the angles just to make them look better. Use my dowel pin jig to drill a 3 8 hole in the center of both of them. Then glue and nail them on to the center of the middle supports. Like this. Next, we're going to take two more of our 3 quarter inch square pieces and glue and nail them together at a right angle. We'll then measure how far down it comes until it reaches both sides of our platform, cut it at that mark, and then glue and nail it onto one of the sides. Now repeat the process for the other side. Next, I'm going to take this half inch dowel and glue and nail it into the bottom crevice of the arms we just mounted. Now, although it is not entirely necessary, I'm going to add a quarter inch thick piece of oak wood beneath the dowel on both sides to help hold it in place. With that, the main body of the catapult is now complete and we can move on to the launching arm. For the launching arm, I'm going to take another 3 quarter inch square strip and make sure it fits just a little loosely between the two bottom middle supports. I'm then going to cut it down to 10 inches, drill a 3 8 hole at the bottom of one end, and then cut out a small notch on the other end, leaving just a small little tab for us to be able to hold on to. Just like that. Now we can take some quarter inch board and build a small basket around the end with the tab. Beautiful, beautiful. With that, we can finally take everything outside and paint it or stain it, whatever you're feeling. Then we'll come back in and finish putting it all together. El bon appetito. That's Canadian for it looks good. Here I have two extension springs. Replacement slingshot bands would work too. So what we're going to want to do is temporarily slide this launching arm right into where it goes. Then make a mark on both sides of the launching arm and both sides of the frame where we want to screw down our springs at. And keep in mind that when the launching arm is fully at rest, we'll still want the springs to be slightly extended. So now as soon as you have those marks, we can go ahead and drill out the holes. After that, we can go ahead and slide the launching arm right where it goes, only this time permanently paint it in place with a 3 8 dowel rod. My pin fit in there nice and tightly, but if need be, you can certainly put a nail through both ends of the pin just to stop it from backing out. Next, I'm going to wrap some rope around the center brace right where the launching arm meets it, and then I'm going to hot glue both ends of the rope to help hold it in place. This not only stops the loud clanking every time we shoot off the catapult, but it also makes it look a little bit more realistic. Lastly, we can screw on our springs. And if you plan on using this inside, I would recommend putting some felt strips on the bottom. With that, your catapult is now complete and ready for action. For the test, I'll be using marbles and small rocks I find lying around the yard, but of course you can use anything that fits in the basket. That thing can shoot over 37 feet. And there you have it, how to build your own mini catapult. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.